Alright everybody, welcome back to some more Cowboy Brigandine. We are going to beat the Rune God tonight and uh, pretty much finish it up for Shinobi as you can see. Pretty much dominated the whole continent. The whole land has gone back to becoming green again, so we've gone green. Uh, so if you like the color green, this is a, a great, great thing. But um, I've already got the setup, we've already done the other fight, I've uh, probably already posted on YouTube at this point. Um, so if you haven't been able to see it on Twitch, you can go back and check out the archive video. Hopefully the audio is working out fine there because I had some audio problems with uh, uh, a couple multiplayers recently and I might have to change my um, audio recording thing in order to get that to work. But hopefully the, uh, the sound is okay, it's not too loud, it's, you know, everything sounds okay. But either way... Welcome back to some more Brigandine. This is Legend of Renarzia. I know I just have the title Brigandine there, but that kind of pops out a little bit better. I like that one. Um, but yeah, I do a lot of Brigandine on my channel, new and old. And so, um, yeah, I guess let's just get into it. If you want to just see kind of what I got on my base real fast, I'll just kind of like point this out. I've already kind of went ahead and described a few things here, but um, we got two Lizard Lords. We've got an, uh, a Titan. This is the new updated uh, monster which is really really good I like it a lot Bombot, Angel, High Centaur, Hellhound, Green Elemental here, Siren, all this stuff and a couple of Shadow Goblins we got a couple of them here too which are pretty good actually um, you can see one's defense is 127 one is 125 I believe they have gold and purple gear or white and purple gear matched sets so they're they're pretty strong they can handle some hits and uh we got toby the thundercat <laughs> that's what i think of toby anyways but i'm bringing carla in here i gave she's got some solid defense right there 170 is not nothing to laugh at uh you can but uh you know she's a force to be reckoned with um, so I've got some pretty good stuff on my guys. Uh, not everybody has gold gear. Um, you know, as far as like trying to do a bunch of questing for stuff, I really didn't do oh, anything more than I really had to. I beat three of the three of the phantom fights, and while I was beating the phantom fights, I'd have other, other people questing. So. I got all the stuff that I got from questing with just three phantom fights and taking all the time there was to beat the game within 2.5 years. So what I have is a result of that and um, as far as like placement goes and luck is concerned, that's that's all the gear that I have. So some people aren't, uh, some people aren't like totally up to gold gear. But anyways, I focused on one team, built them up to max and let's go ahead and do it. Do it to it. Let me just get one thing up here real fast. It's got to get something started here. All right, cool. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Already set to attack. All right, here we go. Hey, nice here. How's it going? How you doing, man? I'm gonna go radio silent for a second and let you all read the dialogue if you haven't read it before. So if I don't say anything for a while, I'll just I'm just gonna go ahead and let you read the dialogue. I'm not gonna read over it this time here. But uh, good, I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I'll be back in a second. I just I'm gonna. Let let this uh, roll out so you can see this. これがお前たちがルーンの神と崇めた者の真の姿。お前たちは今こそ立ち止まり、真実に向き合うがいい。これがルーンの神。おいかりだわ。オロラ。ルーンの神が追い狩りだわ。エンドレアを沈めなさい。確かにルーンの神は人間たちにマナの
戦い続けなくてはならないのだ戦い続けそして一体人間たちはいくつ愛する大切な人の命を失ってきたというのだルーンの父よそなたはもうそのことに気づかなくてはならないオーロラなぜあなたはそんなにも我らのルーンの神を断罪できるというのこのオーロラの半身にはルーンの神の血が流れているな何ですってその血が私にこうささやくんだよ愚かな人間どもの目を決して覚ますなとなそそんな見るがいいこれがお前たちの信じた神か忍び国の女王よ今こそ人間たちはこの強大な力の真実を見極める時が来たのだこのオーロラと共に神と戦えさもなくば神と共にこのオーロラと戦うのだ<音声>この時すでにルーナジアの王となる者の運命は決まっていたのじゃ。ルーナジアを支配し女王よそなたにはもうその答えが分かっているはずだルーンの神そうさ人間たちは自分たちのために戦っているそう信じてきただけ本当はルーンの神の手駒の一つでしかなかったのさあの国を落とせあの山を越えろ神は思い通りに人間たちを動かし殺し合いをさせてきたそそんなも,もしそうだとしたらそんなことが許されていいはずがない違うか<笑>でもねルーンの神は一つだけ人間たちの行動を見誤ったえブリガンダインブリガンダイン神はまさか人間たちがマナシャワーの結晶マナストーンを鎧に組み込むとは思いもよらなかった人間たちのその知恵は最大の武器となった最大の武器どういうこともうすでに人間たちはマナなくしても神に対抗できる術を身につけたというわけさブリガンダインそれじゃあここに組み込まれたマナストーンは取り外してみるんだなそれでもブリガンダインは人間たちの守り神となってくれるはずだ人間は神が思ったよりも強いブリガンダインは神よりも自らを作り出してくれた人間を選んだのだ返すわえ人間たちは自由なのたとえルーンの神であっても私たちから自由を奪うことはできないそうよねオーロラタリアだったらルーンの神よ今こそ我ら人間はマナストーンをお返しするわ
として本当の自由をこの手で勝ち取ってみせる覚悟はいいようだなルーナジアの女王よオーロラ一緒に戦いましょうこのルーナジアの自由を何としても手繰り寄せてみせるふん<笑>足手まといにならないでよグズグズしてるとエンドレアに弾き飛ばされるから行くわよルーンの神Okay, we have the fight. Alright, so. We're kind of going left anyway, so might as well put her here. Carla. Can Carla move that fast or that far? Most of her monsters can. Uh, there is. The... Oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm not going left. Um. Well, she does have a heal. Okay, she can be on her own because she does have a heal, but Toby does not. So let's go ahead and put it here. But hey, Carrot, how's it going? Heave, you tried Ray. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're probably trying to say half. Uh, but how's it going, everybody in the in the uh, the chat? Let me know. Another tactical game, cool. Let's check out some of these tactical games. I was thinking about getting, uh, I saw this, is, I think it's called Battlefront. But there's also another game that, uh, I forgot the name of it, but it's another mech game. I'm thinking about getting, like, a, a strat, a ne another strategy mech game here. In the near future, I might do that. Let's see what to do. Okay, so Toby's going to be kind of, well, most of my characters are probably going to be. Uh, Talia and Toby are going to be weak to Eliza because Eliza's red, they're green. But otherwise, the two leaders that are both green should be very good and evasive towards. Um, no, let's move them a lot further, actually. Can be out there. They're they're going to be very good against the two um, blues that are here, which there is uh, Stella and Rubino. So, but uh, that's cool to hear, man. Let's see. Should I go this? How should I go all the way? Maybe I should. Maybe it's not so bad. I probably could. It's level thirty. Probably can handle it. Okay, I don't want her getting hit right off the start. So, not gonna put her... I mean, she could take a hit, actually. It's it's not terrible. 
but I'd rather something else take the hit first and considering that black on black there is some white in there too but I'm trying to make sure I don't get taken down immediately <laughs> you know I don't want to uh, lose almost all my best stuff like right at the get-go that's not what I want to do I could actually wow the distance this guy has look at this how much movement do I have with this guy? I've got nine mobility? Holy cow! Well, it's probably due to the Onyx Claws. The Azure Scale Curious. Yeah, it's due to that. Man. Okay, if you want a great bomb in this game, and I didn't get to cover this, but I'm just going to show you real fast. This is awesome. Onyx Claws give you one extra move space. Azure Scale Curious gives you one extra move space. They're both great for a lot of things um it would make you kind of weak to you know uh to greens from archer shots but i mean honestly just the movement alone is just beautiful i can hit her right now which i think i'm going to do that It still only has a 50-something percent chance to hit me. And she missed. Stella. Stella. Right there. Just just like that. That's nuts. But, uh, yeah, what... Mordium. Is that the, uh... Is... Is that the medieval game where you can actually fight with swords and stuff? Is that what I'm thinking of? I think... That might be the game. I don't know. I could be thinking of the wrong thing, though. I'm probably thinking of the wrong thing, though. But there, there was a medieval game that you could fight um, and kind of do almost realistic moves and stuff. I, I tried it, but I don't know. Like, I need to be able to play with the controller, the keyboard with like realistic moves is. Uh, it doesn't seem to work for me. I'm kind of hoping... Before we get into this, I'm kind of hoping that... Rudo will actually come out and attack. <laughs> the thing is, what would be great in this game is that if... If Aurora would eat the clean military rule that Rudo has, that would save me so much problems, so much trouble, because she can handle it. I mean, yeah, it would hurt her. She actually has unknown hit points, which typically she's got like 900 something, but for whatever reason, trying to, maybe they made a patch in here. I don't know. This looks a little different. Or maybe because I was playing the uh, alternate version too much. I'm, I'm thinking yeah, I can see her hit points, but when you fight against her, she's got great defense. It's really hard to chew through and, and take her down. Maybe it's because she's got more hit points or something. But All right, these two guys, he's got blue defense. Or, I mean, blue and white defense. They both have blue and white defense. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that they kind of take the clean military rule hit from Rudo. So Dingus and his buddy are going to go ahead and hopefully they'll take that damage. I don't want other people to take that damage other than them. Uh, we'll go here and we'll go I'm gonna go over here. Sure. Let's do it like that. You hit? Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> yes, he burned. And I silenced him too. He burned up his clean military rule. Never seen Rudo miss a clean military rule, but that's the first time I've seen that. 
That is the first time I've ever seen that. That is truly beautiful. He totally missed. He he totally biffed his clean military rule. Now Toby's gonna gonna scratch his back a little bit here. Let's see. He has a he has an eight percent chance to hit me here. Now he missed his other attack. I hope he doesn't hit here. But it's eight percent chance he he could hit Toby and take off that much hit. He could take off two hundred ninety something attack. See, I was confused initially with this. I was like power up here. For it's showing this. This is this confused me for a while, actually. I don't know if I can... Oh, here we go. Okay. This power score right here, what says power is actually how much damage you're going to do. I know other people might have covered this, but if you didn't know, this is the actual damage you're doing. Unless you do a critical damage, um, that's what you're going to do. So my power went up by 40 points because he's surrounded, and uh, his power goes up because of reasons, I guess. I don't know what that's about, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and attack him with Toby. I think I should be fine. I was going to say he hits me with 8%. See, see, Rudo is is the one you got to worry about more than almost anybody else. Um, I kind of almost want to, if I got somebody that could level up right now, that'd be perfect because that would just be perfect right now. What else do I gotta go? Who who else has to go? All right. Well, if they gotta level up, if if I got someone, I, I know there's a couple people that need to level up. I'm gonna take on some other targets here, and I'll get a level up guy, that Rudo kill right there. These abandoned waves are boom, <laughs> just nice, just nice. Okay, I don't know if I'm at the point of killing him off. Rage is going to come in, do some chaining motion, hopefully. We're just trying to set up for that. Just got a 49% chance to counter. She was able to hit that. All right, let's move. Uh, let's move back a little bit. I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to exit blast happening in my face. That would not be very much fun. All right, she's level 30. She might be able to take him down, but maybe better yet, I could come over here. That's only five. Dang it. Okay, here's the plan. Here's the plan, guys and gals. All right, we're gonna hit her, double hit, two hits, back away, heal. Wait, there Talia is way over there in a corner. Oh yeah, she never moved from there. Okay, I need a heal. Maybe this team could pop a heal for me. Maybe. Let's see how far do I need to be. That's one, two. One, two, three. Right about there. Only need like a singular heal there. Um, you know, I could try. Let's see about this. Seventy-four, seventy-four. Definitely get him down. Get him lower. Dang it! Oh man, I was kind of hoping that would work right like that. All right, who needs to get a kill? The angel would be great to actually get a kill, level up a little bit. Forty-seven, sixty-two, one hundred. Okay, one hundred, and it's a kill. Let's do that.
Okay, we're still turn two. We're still looking pretty good here. This is level 29. We might be able to max this out. She's still in there. Still within that range. Um, yeah, this is okay. I could do a breath attack through her, hit hit the big guy too, come back, do an area heal. Alright, let's do this first off. Let's do... Oh, not weakness. I wish they would... Another thing that I wish there there was a patch for, I wish heal was at the top because it's like the more important skill to do. Maybe weakness is more important in this game, but I particularly still like heals a little bit better. Um, Alright, so we got that to go. I could do react spell and get this damage going a lot faster actually. Um, I mean, why not? It's it, it doesn't seem that big of a deal. Why not just go for it? Here, let's do it. Let's do it, everybody. Let's do it. Let's do a react spell. I'm going to get her to go down there. Hit the leader. Get a pretty good hit here. And, uh... All that sort of thing. That's more than two spaces. Whatever. Okay. First. Things first. I'm going to do boom, boom. Two different waves. Carla's gonna attack here, hit the boss and this at the same time. But to try to maximize the damage, I wanna try to make sure that's a kill shot. You're kidding me, it's one hit point. Come on. Oh. Oh geez. Yeah, green beats blue. But I think we got this taken care of here. Gonna hit two at the same time. I don't know if the boss is gonna take more damage because she's dead. Maybe she has to be dead before I hit the boss for him to take more damage, or maybe as she dies, it's counted as less of a shield. We'll find out, I guess. So he did take he did take some pretty good damage there. That's that's no joke. Alright, um, Got to get everybody else up here. Dingus is going to have to go fight her. Mr. Dingus, will you take her on, please? Thanks, bro. Yes! Yes, turn two. Killed all of the idols. Very, very good. Very good. Divine punishment! Wow.
Okay, good. She's a lot closer. That's where I wanted her. Uh, where should we go with Toby? Should I go to the right or to the left? I don't know. We got Ace Team. I think she'll go to the... She'll have to, like, fight around that side. I think... I think we have to go to the right. Okay, we can't stand there. We can stand here. Thundercats, ho! I honestly could stay a little, little further back for that, but... Whatever, it's cool. I'm trying to think about how to get an area heal and be able to do an attack too. I don't think I'm gonna have a lot of options with this. Maybe this one could get an area could suck up an area heal a little bit. Hey, we we solidified him. He can't. Uh, I I'm just kidding. Okay, well, next time we're going to have to get in a little bit. Whatever. Here, let's do it like this. Shadow goblins are kind of interesting, you know? put him there. I need that space for more damage from bigger guys, actually. This should work out pretty good, though. back for area heals. Okay, he is hurt. I think area heal at this moment would be good. Let's see who we got to move first before we get into all that, though. Looks like we've got him here. Okay, is this the one that can go really, really far? Nine places, so... One, two, three, four... Wait, one, two... Let's count this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Yeah, I should be able to get in and get out. All right, let's go ahead and do that. I gotta give him an area heal too, which makes sense. And Antalya is gonna be on this side here. Uh, let's just push back here. Okay, she can't stand there, but we do need to give her an area heal before we go. I need to get you into a place, get you over there. Okay, he's still pretty good. He he hasn't been hurt yet, so he doesn't need it. The reason I'm taking a while to do this is because I'm trying to figure out if I have to move them. I want to make sure they get an area heal before we move into place because now's a good opportunity to get that. And I think this dog... Okay, the dog doesn't need any health, so let's go ahead and, and burn the area heal because this angel is in a good place for it. And get all this healed up here. Angel can't get hurt from that ray attack, so might as well go ahead and just try to maximize my movement and uh, everything else. 
Uh, oh, you know what? He I, This guy's got air hat fists, and so... Oh, wait, no, he doesn't have... Oh, I thought he did. Oh, man. Okay, that's going to change the strategy, but I was going to go and punch, walk away, but I can't do it with him. So what we're going to do here is... I can just go and physically attack and walk away with this guy. Which is a little stronger than his normal... Uh, his, his breath attack, so let's go, let's go for that. Pull back. Okay, so she needs to go somewhere. I think here is good enough, actually. This looks like a pretty safe spot to go to. These things really don't do that much damage. I, I don't know if there'd be a, a, a point in... Maybe in a future I'll do something interesting because there's some gear that you can set up and uh, have your leader go twice and almost not have any monsters or anything, but you can manipulate that with other gear with command helms and stuff like that to give yourself extra command. Um, it's, it's possible to go with... I don't know how many, but possibly a whole team of uh, elementals that cost nothing. Uh, with the leader that goes twice. I'm thinking about doing that in the future. I don't know if you're interested in seeing that, but uh, that's one of my thoughts. <laughs> I kind of want to probably do in the future and be like, what? The elemental team costs nothing. Yeah, there's there's equipment. You you can get a hat that minus is 15, and you can get a ring that minus is 30, and they, co they cost 45 effectively, so that would make them effectively zero cost. And uh, I've I've looked at this and it's like, oh my gosh, that is that is so fantastically awesome. Um, what I what I want to do here is I I'd like I think he's gonna be okay for now. I'm just gonna kind of leave them right there. But I need to get my I need to get him in play. So let's get him down here. Stand by. Hope I didn't. Oh crap! If I had another react spell, which I didn't. I was just wondering because sometimes I like try to try to get that really nice, but let's get up there. But yeah, how's everybody doing out there on Twitch and all that? I don't. I mean, nice hero. I'm glad to see you here. Good to see you here, Carrot. Any other people that uh, are in the chat that want to talk a bit, go for it. Go for it. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to put myself in here. But before we do that, I think we're going to just get get these attacks out first. Grand Wave is 120 power. Deadly Rush is a lot more. Fallberg is 190. I think we need to use one of those. Let's use one of those. I like that. I'm just going to use the shots from here. We'll just do that. Oh my gosh, that was powerful. 278. That's fantastic. Wow. That is fantastic. We're going in. We're going in, everybody. This rune god can't handle this. 
We got some pretty good gear. Not the best gear. If I had the best gear, this would probably be a lot faster. Or maybe a little bit faster. I don't know. But. Oh, you're going to heal yourself up, huh? Okay. Okay, I think this is done. I think we're done. Do a Thunder Fist. I could do Flash Combo, but this is stronger. Flash Combo looks really a lot cooler, though. As you just jump in the air and go... Act like a Thundercat and all that. Uh, I'm just going to keep doing a Badden Wave. It's more powerful. Already see his hit points right here. Centaur shot after centaur shot after centaur shot. What is going to happen to this big bad old meanie? Well, I mean, I, I guess we're breaking down the god here. We're out god killing today. Thanks for joining me in my stream. <laughs> we're out hunting gods. That's what we're doing. I wonder, should I let Talia get the final kill? What does everybody say in the chat? If you want to let me... If you want to see Talia get the final kill, let me know. He's got 290 left. Ragnarok might just do it. Ragnarok gets him down to 31 hit points. Let's do that. Ragnarok is pretty damn cool. I like that skill a lot. Alright, um, that's pretty much... That's gonna do it here, folks. EBDBDBD, thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna do a holy word, and that's... That's about that. Flying snake fang, I could do a, maybe a... Ho flying snake fang or holy word. It doesn't matter to me. I guess we'll do a holy word. This will finish it up. And everybody on YouTube, thanks so much for the subscribes and the follows and uh, all that. But uh, let's finish this off with a nice holy word from Talia here. That was a beautiful ending, though. How that ended. In... That was probably the best looking ending ever. Nice holy word. It's using holy word to take down a, a god. The irony in that, isn't there? <laughs> Just a little bit of irony in は忍びの里で生まれ育った忍びの里は掟に厳しく何人もの仲間が掟を破り里を追われたのを見てきたでも私は割とそんな縛られた世界にいることがそれほど嫌ではなかった多分それは何かに守られているという安心感から来ていたんじゃないかしら今私の前にはどこまでも自由な世界が開けているそれはずっとずっと求めてきたことであるはずなのになのに本当
ほんの少し不安で仕方がないのだううん嘘だ本当は本当は不安で不安でまた母さんのお腹に入ってしまいたいぐらいに不安なのだそれでも自由な大地は広がっている一歩一歩と踏み出したらそのうちどんどんどんどんどこまでも歩いていけることができるようになるかしら私のルーナジアきっときっとそうだよね太古の昔から聖なる大地ルーナジアに惜しみなくマナのシャワーを降り注いできた人間という生き物がマナの力で知力を磨き繁栄に努めることを願ってな人間たちの中でも特にマナの力を浴びた者はやがてグループを率いるようになり種族を形成し国を作るようになったわけじゃだがのうマナの人間に与える力は果てることがない人間たちはやがてマナの力に突き動かされるように好むと好まざるとにかかわらずさらなる高みを目指すことになったそれは他の民族他の国家を侵略し征服するという野望に突き進むことでもあったのじゃ果たしてそれがルーンの神の意図したものであったそれとも神の意志とは離れて人間が神の力に乗じて暴走した結果であったかその真実を語れる者はいないだが今大陸統一を果たした王がその歩みを振り返ってみればそれは孫うことなく人間が人間の力で選び取った道でありそしてルーナジアの未来へと続く道だったのじゃ。Okay, so that pretty much about does it for the regular Shinobi LP that I'll be doing. The next LP up, as far as what people have kind of voted for, some people voted for it, and、uh, there were, there's two left for me to do as far as normal LPs go. In the future, I'll probably do some challenge modes. You can give me a challenge while I'm playing through this game or Grand Edition. I've done all the challenge modes for Grand Edition and、uh, Legend of. For Cena, for the most part, for Cena, I believe I did. But、uh, for this game in the future, I'll probably do some challenge modes for something. Not saying that I'm going to play the alternate challenge、uh, game mode, because if people are offering me challenges to play that in an already challenging scenario, I don't know if it would work. <laughs> But I think in the future we'll do some challenges for this game in particular, and we'll just we'll have. Maybe subscribers or fans or something pick the、uh, the particular LP to play as. But、um, yeah,、uh, other than that,、uh, the next up, what I wanted to tell you is going to be Norzalio. So we're going to play Norzalio. And I know I did a co op with Raging Paul, but this will be my own LP. So I'm going to kind of take it a little more seriously. And、uh, 
fight for justice. Try to try to get get some good teams going. I'm uh, I, I did play through it a little bit, and uh, you know it's it's fun. I was I was playing through it in a, a different kind of scenario, um, as far as like trying to figure out which knights I'd like to play as, and I I think I found some good knights. I found some good teams. Rosalio has a lot of good teams, but Shinobi. If you play through Shinobi here, you're going to have a lot of interesting teams. I think I, I kind of do like the, the Samurai class, but initially it does feel a bit squishy unless you're in the forest. If you get hit a few times, uh, you can go down fast. The only offset to that is that if they do their crit skill, I've seen, I've, I've seen um, some Samurais do like 700 points of damage and just outright kill leader. You know, I know they're the swordsmen, all that. Yeah, yeah, how's it going, Prinker? I know they're the swordsmen. I'm just used to calling them Sammies and Samurais, but swordsmen, Samurais, you know, pretty much mean the same thing. Uh, both games, they're, they both act kind of the same. The only difference is that your IS slash isn't ranged attack. That's kind of what I miss, though, uh, uh, is that if you're if you had a ranged IS slash with the Samurai stuff, maybe... They don't, they don't necessarily need to have so much crit for their hit. It's cool. It makes them very powerful. But I'd prefer like a like a ranged attack like it used to be. But um, yeah, once you get them up to a swords master, a sword master, then they're good to go. I mean, then they're very powerful. But yeah, uh, Shinobi's got an interesting lineup. They really do. Della, absolute beast in the forest or on a castle or whatever it's almost impossible to hit her half the time a uh, lot of a lot of uh, shinobi has a lot of very evasive tanks so if you want to play a style where you're playing a lot of evasion tanks shinobi's the place to go to you know a lot of other places most of the other countries have more physical tanking i guess if i had to say probably holy gustavus a little bit of a mixture there Holy Gustavo might be a mixed bag because you got Tim and then you've got the uh, the Hazarim guy and you've got some other so you got like Tim and his evasive guy and you've got some other people that are more tanky you've got uh, Noel who's evasive um, but I think you've got some other tanky stuff but yeah uh, Shinobi's really just mostly evasive not a lot of like not a lot of characters that can really handle a lot of damage. Yeah, I named <laughs> I named the uh, the Shadow Goblins thing one and thing two, so <laughs> I was like, that is perfect for them because thing one and thing two could have been goblins. We don't know. I don't know. I really don't. But uh, here's so far my roster leveling up some stuff. There's so much you can do with Shinobi. There's a lot of really good characters to be utilized. So you can pick a lot of different ones. I thought Carla was a great one to pick. She ended up being fantastic. She could tank very well. Maybe it's just that the um, the royal class is such a good class for tanking. I don't know. Uh, I think Renzi came out and you know helped me out a lot in a lot of different instances. Didn't really get to use Faye much. I've tried Seth before. He's he's kind of interesting. Didn't really play him here too much, I don't believe. Uh, Lorenzo, well, he comes from Morelva. And I don't think we used him too much, really. But, uh, yeah, I used Jose a bit. Jose was decent. But that's the thing with, this, with the Sammy class or the Swordsman class. I, I, I gotta say, unless you got a, a forest to be in... It's really the reason that I'm saying they're kind of squishy is because as soon as you get that surround attack on them, they lose all that evasion and then they don't have the the physical tanking abilities that the other knights do. So, you know, if they get surrounded, Raish is a really good really good knight. I like her. Zion, I'm kind of like iffy. It's like so so. I think she's all right. Uh, Yuki, I like Yuki a lot, but he, I think he comes from Morelva. But you can add him to your, your swordsman class, and that becomes pretty good. Jaden didn't get to use him, I don't believe. 
We got a lot of knights here, I believe. Galavard's another good one. Didn't get to use him here either. It's just, once you have a good team set, you almost don't want to change it. Huggies, um, I don't know if we, we might have used him. I mean, he's level 14. Anne is really nice. I like Anne. I think she's got some good growth stats. And yeah, we're just going to look at the rest of these guys here. Um, we'll look at the map at the end. I used all the time on the map to, you know, slowly move in there and see if I could get, you know, some of the gear with some quests. So yeah, I, I burned it all. I burned the time from two and a half years all the way down to two months, I think. And then I took out the final castles. And then we fought like three shadow groups at like the first initial three and then immediately went to attack the boss. So I didn't get like all yellow gold gear for everybody. But some characters, most of the knights have gold gear because that's really easy to get knights the gold gear because there's only you're only taking three of them into the fight, right? But getting all the monsters all the gold gear, that can take an exceptionally longer time to get to. But yeah, how you doing, Pringer? How's it going, man? I think I did get a ton of knights in this battle. <laughs> Delegant, I like that dude. Diana, I like her too. I wonder what would happen if I went into the into a boss fight with all assassins. I wonder how damaging that could be. I really kind of do. I think I got some free stuff here. There's a level 20 Lich. I think I got that for free. Presentation tomorrow. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Sorry to... I mean, do the best you can, man. So, all right. So here's what we got. This is a custom mode here. Uh, hit X. You can actually see the custom mode I set. This was started during version 1.1.2. If... You're on YouTube and you see my previous video that I did with some of those talks as far as like how to help the game get a little better with some upgrades. Uh, leave some comments on that if you want. That might help the developers fix a couple things here. But um, I started this at that version. I know now it's up to 1.1.5. So they did some a little extra things, some buggy things here. But I put on random battlefield, allow monster capture in the future. I'm going to change that. That's going to be disallowed. Uh, quest success rate, no. Mana acquisition, enemies times two. That was nuts. Enemies times two. It's, oh, it's it can be a pain. Because they could be down to one castle and still have enough to build a whole other team and go out and attack again. Uh, that can be kind of hard. Um, yeah, and I kind of took the time to, to go through that. But um, XP acquisition... I think in the future what I'm going to do is I'm going to do no mana um, times two for anybody. Revival stones. I didn't. I, I don't know if I used too many of them, but no revival stones for me. And none for them. That gets old. Uh, defeats is not zero. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I know initially I went out to attack the red with the uh, the green that didn't turn out too well a couple losses there and I think they also attacked me in another castle and I had to I had to run but um, then um, the next one I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do in the future is I'm gonna do XP times two for everybody no monster captures so you have to actually put in the work and effort and kill off their monsters you can't just let it go because nobody will capture it it'll always be with them uh, and uh, Quest success rate, no change. I could make it better. It, not necessarily going to be better. But I'm going to make this harder in a sense that I'm going to make it monster capture, disallow. Quest success rate, no change. Enemy mana acquisition. That, that could make them have more monsters. It just makes it... I don't know. It just... It just I'd rather have it that it's an even playing field there. Uh, no revival stones for nobody. <laughs> no per season. 
Uh, XP acquisition times two. I like the XP acquisition times two. It's great to have people level up very quickly. But yeah, that's the end of this video here. There's really nothing more to show for that. I'm gonna save it over, save it over something here. Let's do, let's do this one here. Maybe that's the, wait, whichever one's the god side. All right, do that there. It doesn't really matter. I I don't know. It just shows me the map and how I acquired it and all that. I wish it. I wish because I thought for a while that that would you know show you the battle, but it doesn't. I would have liked it if they would have kept a record as to how you beat the battle and saved that, like a saved replay for the battle. That would be kind of cool, but whatever. So that's that. That's it, everybody. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. Uh, for YouTube, this will end the video here. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream in a couple seconds. And I just want to thank you for all the follow subscribes and all the comments on YouTube. Let me know what you think about the Shinobi Tribe, too. Replays would be great, Pringer. Absolutely great. That's what I was kind of hoping that whole save area was for. Not the how you took over the map, but like the replay of the battle would be cool. You know, then you could always have it. Because, I mean, Mario Kart does. They have little replay areas in the new game. And a lot of play, not a lot of, uh, a lot of systems allow that. Um, but uh, yeah, YouTube, just to say thanks again for everything and uh, you'll see me in the next LP ne likely next LP is going to be Norzalio we're going to start up with Justice and we're going to conquer the continent with Justice that's what we'll do but if you're on Twitch uh, stream will be down for about 5 minutes I'll restart and we're going to play some Grand Edition tonight so hang out and we'll play some Grand Edition so have a good night everybody on YouTube and I'll see you in the next LP video Take care.